welcome to Head Crack After Hours is a voice that you've heard on a lot of records. And she's been quiet for a minute, but you're about to hear that voice again. Make some noise one time for Woo! Nidia! Woo! Hey, hello, world. Hello, out there. I'm just kidding. You know, I'm happy to be here. I love the energy that you bring. Thank you, Head Crack. Because with some people, it's hey, kind of like a part-time thing. I ran into you a couple months ago. You remember that? At the rooftop. Oh, my lamb. Didn't I just tell you that? I was like, but child, she looked different that day. So maybe he don't remember. <laughs> no, I do remember. We oh, said, that's what's up. You know, what I was... I was just up there chilling. I was like, that's a head crack. No, what made me happy was just how cool and humble you were. Yeah, And you've you always been that way, though. Thank you. Because you may don't remember, but years ago when we were still in, the, in Dallas doing the show... Oh, you know, oh couple, I met you then. Some of the reps that brought you by, I was doing a night show at this I time. I do remember that. I how had dreads. That? I was probably like a thousand pounds heavier. But you know, I'm done. It is yeah, what it you is. did cut your locks. Yeah. That was a while ago. Yeah, some people say the locks cut me, but whatever. Hey, uh, <laughs> you have a great face. Thank God for it. We'll so take the face. Need, you don't need them. You know, a lot of people need their hair, honey. Indeed, indeed. I'm one of them. Like uh, Zoe De Chanel, like when she removes her her bangs, she, she looks like a completely totally different oh, person. Oh, me too, honey. Forehead changes that damn face. Really? So for, if, that forehead would be like, you know. You, you look different. So when Nivia want to go undercover. Yeah, I love a bang. You expose And don't get forehead. me wrong, I embrace all my flaws, my nose, my weird teeth, all that shit. But I do have a large forehead. So I'd rather, I look to me better if you cover it and frame the moon head shape that happens down here. <laughs> you have to know what works. And I think a bang just compliment my eyes better. The no, eye shape. Or your what, eyes are popping. And I think you have a phenomenal nose <laughs> and a phenomenal you. smile. Hair crack is giving out the compliments to the... Oh, man, many uh, group <laughs> No, but thank you. I group on these compliments. Do you, you group on them? <laughs> <laughs> I got many to share. Yeah, but it's important to embrace all your flaws. I'm all about that. I love who I am. And hey, I have fun with it. Okay, now Mirrors, your new album. Yes! Mirrors! Everybody go get it if you ain't got it. Mirrors is out there. It's been a long time coming, honey. I believe something like, what, 15, 15 years? years? Why um, wait 15 I years? Did, it wasn't intentional. I mean, it was, and then it wasn't. And after life happens, it's hard to put things on a fixed schedule, I guess, for lack of words. But um, it's, it's awesome because this album, Mirrors, sums up what has occurred in my life over those years that I was away from music. And I'm singing about it, and I love it. So it's about being reflective, self-reflective mm -hmm. uh, on my end, and I'm hoping that translates and people are able to directly relate to at least one of the songs. Yeah, well, here's the thing. <laughs> you know, I got a chance to skim through the album. You did, right? yeet! I did. And one major note that, you know, I think a lot of great artists have is the fact that you kind of can hear what they're going through. You can. On the songs. Like, even with the first record, uh, let's, uh, I believe, let's take a ride, ride with me. Hold on, my yeah. phone don't want to open. Um, you right. It was called Ride With Me. Yo, I love that. Here's the Shout thing. Out to DJ. Straight out the gate, your voice ain't missed a beat. Thank you, God. You, you were crisp as ever. That's 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 what's up. I'm some people take a 15 year break and they Eddie Kanan out here. You right. I mean, I do too. Like now I'm hoarse because I was screaming last night. But um, I do thank God for that. That I can still I guess sing. But I'm shocked when people are like you still sound good. I'm like, damn, was I supposed to? That sound good. Well, like but I said, I results just may vary. Like it, Some people's voices don't do age change. well. I noticed it. Maybe it's not her, but uh, especially after having kids, after every child, your voice gets deeper. Didn't know that. But I was glad because I couldn't used to sing in the lower register. Mm -hmm. So now I can hear, ooh, you know, I used to well, do that. Well, that's from you probably yelling at your children. That too. <laughs> you know, trying to be that man that I'm not. That voice got to, you know, got to carry Go upstairs. House. Yeah, exactly. So, Yeah. But okay, well, it's changed a little. Uh, well, keeping it on the family dynamic for a second, you said okay. trying to be the man that you're not, but it allow it allows you to be a stronger woman. Exactly, Let's talk and about it's that. hard for moms because you want to hold your baby and kiss them or interfere when the dad is disciplining him because you that's just our way. Right. But um, a lot of times, and uh, they daddies be like, "You just gotta say it like you mean it." I'm still, still no, I'm the vagina. They mm. can smell that. I mean, not literally. I mean, they can tell <laughs> who's don't. the male. <laughs> <laughs> and who's the feminine species in the room um, based off of the emotion emitted by somebody. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, you better do this. They're like, mama, sit you You know, it's not, it just, it's not the same. It's not that effective. And you know, but, um, no. I feel like just... the gift and the curse of it all, too, is because, like, you know, you're a single mother raising children. Yeah. When the dads come around, Honey, they instant get, they obe Superman because they, they ain't been around. Obedience. Yes, father. <laughs> what the? Child, they can blink at them. And it, it gets, you know, but 
Hey, it is what it is. Now, you notably have two famous baby fathers. Yeah. Uh, between the Dream and Lil Wayne, who's the who's the most fun between the two? Like, who who give hey, who shows the kids I the best time? I hate to say this, and they're gonna be mad at me for saying this, but they are a lot alike. <laughs> they are a lot alike. Really? I just have to say it. I know they're like, I ain't nothing like him, but they they are very similar in a lot of ways. Got you. So I I don't know. I think both eat, are, are fun. Now, when you look at... How do you got to be fun if I'm in the, in the middle? I'm just going to lose up. <laughs> no, but... Yeah. Uh, that was kind of evil, wasn't it? No. It was anyway, a sinister um, laugh. It was I'll a sinister laugh. Yeah, I, I own it. But no, they're both fun. Got you. Now, when you I'm, see I'm your... so silly, though. I, I like people that like to laugh. Mm-hmm. Now, so, when you see your kids, do you see more yourself? I see, honey, child, talk about the peanut butter and the jelly mixing. They are all of us. It's so weird. you mm. like, child, look at your daddy. <laughs> That's you. That, you know, you see each other and what you created. And it's, it's refreshing, sometimes agitating, because you have to remember, you're like, where did you get that from? Or something you might be struggling with as a parent. You made that with that person with someone else. Right. So those things are to be considered with person personality traits, um, what their good, their weaknesses and strengths, all this stuff. But it's I, I enjoy it. It's it's good. Thank God, you know, I made children with some really pretty intelligent people. Some guys who got it together. <laughs> you know, got it some, right, right. some of their say geniuses. So um, and then you know, even though I'm I'm kooky, I I, I kind of got it right too. You know, in silence, and most people don't witness that. But my kids do, and that's all that matters. Okay. And so I'm proud of the union. So now, are you one of those moms who shows up to every PTA event? I, no, I am. You know, the PTA, I get. I'm the mom that registered to get the notification. Got you. But she do might you, not make it. Do you answer the automated phone calls from the school? Yes, I get the bus. Um, even though they don't ride the bus, well, they just switch schools. But anyway, um, you know, this bus is late. Or, um, you know, Atlanta Public Schools, it'll tell you when it's mm-hmm. a holiday. All the, I get all that. Gotcha. But yeah, I, you know, I'm there for whatever directly pertains to the child, whatever activities they're in. But I'm not for sitting here lying saying I'm in the PTA. They got my email, though. Okay, so you're involved <laughs> at some level. At least you get the notifications. Yeah. I get it. So when you say that, you know, life took over and that's uh-huh. what took, you know, they put that gap in the 15 years between this project and the last project, you know, for those who don't understand all of that or none of that, like, what does that all mean? You know, because, like, they, there's this such a big facade about, like, mm-hmm. oh, your songs are on the radio. You have songs that people I'm glad know. You said that. Like, what, what does life thing. mean to I, a regular person? Thank you, God, for this millionaire. This bitch had 19 million albums, uh, platinum albums sold. I love the perception of what people think Nivea was or mm-hmm. is, but it's actually incorrect. I, I've never gone gold, I've never gone platinum. I've only had four videos. My second album, Complicated, technically didn't come out, but did via the internet when it wasn't the internet era. Right. You know, it kind of developed on its own years later. So it's a real interesting story that I'm put aside certain other artists, which I thank you, God, but I, I'm not a 90s uh, era. A lot of people say, 90s music. No, I'm after Britney Spears. I'm the so early, early 2000s. 2000s easy. But I'm still, like, lined up because I had, thank you, God, also, Classical, classic records, Dumb as I'm at, Laundromat. People remember these records as if they did reach a certain status that they never did. And even like the, you know, the joints that you featured on, you know, yeah. like, you know, when Danger Come oh, On, Danger. people know that part. That's what's It up. just sucks that the person that made that song is usually in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Oh, I'm saying we've been a rebuke. I rebuke it now. And I rebuke all them curses. I'm just kidding. Now, when's no. the last time you actually got a chance to perform Danger oh, my with Mr. You know what? I haven't seen. I haven't seen him like in so many years. I don't even remember, but it had to be somewhere around 2002. Wow. Yeah, and we don't have any contact, so. It's weird how that so, works. So, but I, I incorporated it like it's like the intro to my show. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll sing it. People, the people are still finding out that's me. Yeah. 1900 like, years later. Shocker, shocker, shocker. It's now, like, oh, that was you, wasn't it? No, you'd be surprised, like, how many people have never done songs live with the people that featured on those yeah, songs. That like, sucks it blows to me, me away. It's like, like, why wouldn't you want to bring that record to life? But even if you pop up in that person's home city, it's like, yo, such such I'm gonna be popping up in a minute, because, you know, you, you, gotta, you got an album to sell. I'll be popping up. Now, okay, let's talk about that, because once again, you know, on the cover of your album. Woo, woo, she you, was like, Yo, I had to blow it up on the big screen and zoom in. I like, I felt like Revenge of the Nerds. We got Bush. Or do well, we? that's a compliment. I'll take it. I'll take it. 
Yeah, mirrors. That's what it's about. Like I said, very self-reflective. Mm. It's uh, it was about um, the image that I see, the new me or the me that I am today. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the broken mirrors on the floor. It's like shattered, pow, coming out and into the person I am now. Going through these experiences of self-reflection and getting to know who I am and fixing this and you know mo you know molding that and taking that out. So that's what I've been doing. Yeah. As a person, as a mom. You know, the, the, the creepy part about music is, you know, guys can kind of jump out there and look however they want to look. Child be looking like a TV with a shirt on. Exactly. <laughs> That's a visual and a half of that ass. Sick. But it's true. I'm thick, but damn. But they expect women to look the exact Child, same way they, they did when they Barbie. came out. So that's why on the picture, my J J J J like Barbie piece. I'm fucking with you. No, but um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, we already know that. Right? They literally can come out like a TV with a T-shirt on. Yeah. But we have to look like that's why bitches is cutting their arms and shit. I, I I can't do it. I, if I have surgery, I'll let y'all know. Right now, she's still on this healthy mission. She, and and she, I could co-sign. You know, she, she's all natural. I'm all natural. I'm trying to to prove a point. Yeah, over 35, it's difficult. I have four kids. I have a woman's body, a black woman's body. So it's important for me to make my life daily mm -hmm. a healthy one. Like, I, I want to be that chick jogging up and down the street in her 40s that don't look like it. But, you know, hey, honey, we human. So, so I might get so tired what's and the just switch go up? and get the doctor to go. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Put in the work and get it honest. No, but, so, but I, I, what's I would the switch up that you've been that, doing to kind of get the results that you're looking for? Though? You know, the main thing for me, you have to know your um, the way you respond to exercise. Got you. Me, cardio, cardio, cardio. If I'm not jumping around and doing the most with my body, you won't see no result, honey. Got I you. can think of a biscuit and here come 10 pounds. <laughs> so I have to put in that work. I can't just do, I have to be like, looking like a Rocky. And da -da -da. Now, are you eating like, bread? I, no, I don't. I, no, I cut out bread. Good. Pasta's there. I'm waiting to eat some in a minute. Okay. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Well, you got to get um, your carbs somewhere. But, but no you bread. Jump out the window. Okay. Yeah, you have to eat right, mm -hmm. period. But what uh, what's also important is so when you are on a healthy regimen, your body's active, you really kind of can eat what you want. It then becomes about portion control. Mm -hmm. How much are you eating? Right. And I'm greedy. I'm greedy I, yo, trust me, with like, everything. No, it's almost like no, uh, po Pookie in New Jack City. You could be doing good for a few weeks. Yeah, you just gotta know. You hit that wall, and next thing you know, you you like Pookie, but you holding like a piece of pizza. Yeah, you, you know, know how they say emotional ears. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, all types of emotions: celebratory, if I'm sad, happy, or whatever. <laughs> I get it. Let's eat. Hell yeah. I'm bored. Let's eat. You know, it doesn't matter. So that's also something to watch, to not eat when you're not hungry. Mm -hmm. You know, just having something to do. Don't, you know, just you got to learn yourself and what works for you. And that's what I am I do know. It's just sticking to it. And yeah, st and stick it to your guns. So that's the plan. I'm trying, y'all. Now, in, in Nivea's whole career so far, where do you feel like your highest high has been? And what has your lowest been? I have been? not reached my highest high. Okay. But if you want to say has been as you did in the past, I, you know what's weird? This was not televised, as they say. Um... Or, or captured at all was my Grammy nomination. I mean, I'm in a category with Stevie Wonder, so. It was one of those years. Who do you where, think is going to win? So was it one of those years where they didn't televise that category? It was one of them years where nothing was televised. <laughs> it wasn't the era of that. So right. that's also an uh, interesting factor when you talk about or look at my career. I didn't. It's different now. Mm. I mean, thank God that the fans still exist and I'm having another opportunity and people even want to hear from me again. But I didn't experience that. This is like the first time I'm getting the, here's a camera, you got to put a selfie up. And, you know, everything mm. is captured on somebody's phone or something. How, how are you making those adjustments? Because, like, you know... I'm just going with it, you know? I got people around me, uh, my team, you know, they tell me, no, nah, that's don't do that. And I'm pretty lame. I'll admit that. I'm a cool lame. Okay. But I'll be like, I'm, you know, and, and I don't really care about you it. You know, sometimes <laughs> just being a Real parent alone ago. makes you partial, like, makes you lamer than you want to be. Because, like, yeah. you ever want to hang out with your kids and your kids like, yo, my chill. Yeah, but I, it's, it, that can last up to a certain point. I'm cool. So they're like, dang, our mama kind of cool. And then I get lame and they're like, your mom. <laughs> We're out of here. 
So that's what happened. Now, do they ever call their dads lame? Like, you know, do they... Yeah, right. I wish. The day they call their dads lame, we finna sit in that room and go in. We finna... I'm finna call them lame with them. I'm just kidding. I mean, because for all we but know, you know like, no. the dream comes around and knits. No, Maybe their Lil Wayne has a get... cobblestone pipe and, no. like, reads, oh, that's funny. reads the Iliad. I mean, who knows? Hey, why are you joking? He does like to read. But um, Wayne, Wayne is very much not what you think uh, in, in private time. Mm. You know, a lot of weed, but... Other than that, <laughs> he, a charming mofo, Very. isn't he? It's yeah. weird. No, and I Dream get it. Dream likes to build things. No, like, any... you'll come in there and this mug is making a whole cabinetry. Like, so <laughs> he's one real... of those guys can go to IKEA and build something, no instructions. Absolutely, Home Depot, preferably though. Okay. But yeah, like straight up pieces of wood, and we'll build something. Now, what's your special skill? I like to do all everything. Honestly, I like to sew. I like to bake. I like to paint. I like to dance outside, sometimes nude. And uh, nobody's watching, though. When you do the obvious, people don't notice. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I like to just do, you know, a little bit of everything. And that's not even joking. What's your zodiac sign? Aries, baby, March, though. Not April. My twins are April. But not April, because they be like, I'm not going to do that. And March Aries be like, why not? <laughs> That's yo, you, yo. That's different. Do but. all Aries have as much energy as you? I'm trying I to think who... so. Oh, my lamb. I think so. You remind me of my aunt. My aunt is an Aries. Her birthday is like mid March. Yeah, we, we I'm met... March 24th. Three, two, four. My aunt's an Aries. Explain Sorry, it made me excited. No, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, Three, no. Two, four. Don't ever, Nivea, don't yes, ever so apologize missing. for being who you are. I was. Be excited. I know it's just so unpolished. No, but that's see, But here's the problem. A lot of people come through here, yeah. and they got all these like prefabricated answers You're because right. their PR people have taught them oh, so well. Oh my lamb! Just had this conversation last night, and I made an executive decision. I'm just kidding. No, but that's 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 so. That's, I don't even know what to say, but I concur. We need realness. You need to be your damn self. Mm hmm. Because it, it's going to make you connect more with people. That's what's for child. Now, you know, it's it's been documented that you you know you've had your battles. Yes, you know, God, haven't we all? You stumbled across the cocaine block for a little bit. Oh yes. How did you get addicted to cocaine? And well, what just got you going off? through life and not um I'm someone who had a hard time reaching out, asking for help, or even just venting. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it all to myself because I'm usually the person that people come to. So it was just one of them low moments. Hey, what have you done in your lowest slump? You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what happened. My grandma had died. You know, blah. We have excuses or reasons why we allow certain things to enter our our world. But that's what it was. It was a weak moment. Mm -hmm. And thank God I'm alive and over it. And you, and we can swap that out with anything that anybody out there may be dealing with. But like, absolutely. How, how that's why get, I said. But how does it even get introduced to you? Or did oh, you seek child, it out? Everywhere. It's everywhere. Really. Go to the stop sign. So, yeah, drugs so, are really... So, you're, you're uh, um, so paint the scenario for me. Yeah. You're, you're Nivea, you're chilling somewhere. I don't and know, someone... you know people that know people that know people. And they're like, hey, Nivea, you And I'm not like trying to down. put nobody's business out there, but that particular drug is quite popular. No, trust me, I understand. <laughs> now, I've seen it. I've seen oh, it. I mean, it's not funny. It's not a laughing matter. I'm, I just laugh at shit that ain't funny. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm grateful. <laughs> Bitch ain't dead. Hallelujah. It's part of your story, and, you, and, and you, oh, you've lived to tell it. She don't want to do that no more. <laughs> But what Victory. I, what I but, want to bring, um, though, is the no, cautionary tale. No, but it's not tale. easy to come into... It's like, so you can get anything, man. Right. <laughs> you got the money, they got it. So what was the Damn point it. where you decided, one other person. hey, I'm, I don't like the smell <laughs> of this no more, I'm done? I don't know. And that's what I always try to tell people to try to help people. That's that motherfucker... I'm sorry, I'm cussing too much. That's on that person... They have to, a drug is something else because it, it now it's a mental thing mm -hmm. and then it becomes a physical thing because your body like where well, my chicken bitch you know if you it's a used to doing something it bonds so to you it. have to get to a certain that's why I said it was a weak moment right. you have to get build yourself back up to a certain level of willpower strength to fight off anything if you eat cake too much you know you eating too much cake. So, you know, you, you got to a point where he's like, you know what, you could do better than this. And... Absolutely. But like I said, a person who's um, in a bad habit or any habit that they know they need to break, it takes that person to make up their mind that they want to do that because you're the only one that really can pull you out of it. Right. I mean, God. But your friend and your mama or no counselor can. You can use all of those things for tools. Like, you know, a crush should help you along the way. But you really have to be like, I don't want to do this anymore. Because you'll go back. Yeah. You you will. Now, nah, like, I, I grew up a, with a lot of people who have addictive personalities. And yeah, you, you kind of see the highs and lows. And you, like, and you try to study examples of what not to do. Yeah, and but you don't know what you're 
your Achilles, as they say, you don't know what yours is going to be. Absolutely. You can look at other people, but you don't know. Yours might be T-shirts. You might buy too many damn T-shirts. Yeah, a drug is only a drug you know, by name. It, a drug may be shopping. You better preach to them, head crack. A drug may be you going to Costco and smashing a whole Latisse cut pie. Hey, I must say, I'm quite a baby hoarder. We're working on it. <laughs> I love to just buy and little knick, knick, knick-knack, as, as they say, knick-knacks. Mm-hmm. I love... um. What do you call it? Um, thrift store, like little stuff like antiques. Yeah. Vintage girl, child. Antiquing. I cut back, but wow. Yeah, no, I try my best to like when garage. I'm sad. I try to stay offline because I shop when I'm sad online. Oh, really? I be I be funding all types of stuff on Kickstarter. Yeah, you're like it's just four dollars. You know, and it adds up. Then you got eighty things for four. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah. Nivea's in the building right now. New album is called Mirrors. You know, and as an artist, I everywhere out, y'all go get it if you don't. It's it's a good. It's a good roller coaster ride. And here's, mean, the, here's the difference between when you came out then and when you're coming out now. Uh-huh. When you say it's available everywhere, like, you lazy fucks. Exactly. It, it's on your phone. Yeah. Like, all you got to do is just Google it. People are still it, hitting me up saying, where is it? Yeah, like, I you don't, don't have understand. to go to the store anymore to buy anything. If you're, if you're too lazy to just go on to the, the, the iTunes or Spotify and hit save. Nivea mirrors, she naked. That's the selling point. It should okay, come. okay. You, just, you know it when you see it. Nivea, let's sell this album to different people in different ways. Yes. Sell the album to perverts right now. She naked. I right, sell people, sell the <laughs> album to people that go to church multiple times a week. I mean, I got some good power ballads on there. One in particular called Brave, produced by whatever. And uh, another one, Where Was You by Bear Rock that Chase J wrote. And they're really powerful records that I, I hope to, you know, really help somebody and help save their life or help them, you know, find their strength again. So I have that on there for them, too. Okay. Nivea, sell an album to somebody who just got into a new relationship. Oh, honey. I have, uh, I don't know. I, I can go a, little, a couple different places on that one. I got a song called I Should Have Known. Shout out to DJ. Um, it's talking about how we enter a relationship and one of the, uh, the male or female feels played with, toy with, with their heart. But it's like you already knew that wasn't going to work. Uh, you saw through early and you just wanted to keep going, so you waste your own damn time. Call I Should Have Known. Okay. Yeah. Sell an album to a person who is, you know what? I'm done with men. I'm about to go strictly women. Well... I didn't do that, but I have a song on there called Flower Power. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called Love Me Like You Love Me. Really, the F word, like you love me. I mean, like you F, I mean, F me like you love me. Okay. You know, that's pretty cool. It's basically talking about when you're in the space as an adult that you know we playing pretend, and I'm all for it. Okay, I'm here, we're here for it too. The album is called Let's Mirrors. Let's get that. You need to pull up on that. Um, yes, it's wait, really wait. Someone for every, something for everybody on Mirrors, guys. You won't be disappointed. You're going to like one of them, at least. And I'm very proud of it. Um, been a long time coming. Shout out to Playboy Dre. And uh, for helping me, executive produce it. Well, he executive produced it. And, um, and, you know, really pulled all these songs, because some of them go back to, oh, 2008, and some of them go back to a month ago. So you just freshened so them up, really some been, of them? Yeah, I, I had Did to Did you do all the writing? No, most of it, though. Okay. Yeah, it's, it was very personal to me. Nah, very and, personal. And like, I, I kid you not, you literally could hear it. And, oh I, and, gosh, I, and I'm so happy amazing. to hear you sounding like a stronger version of yeah. yourself. Yeah, oh my God, I'm glad you can tell. Look at God. No, I truly chalk it up to you yelling at your kids. Exactly. That's, it's that's exactly that's what it is. That's how you got that low range. Yeah, you know? I do. You're right. And I, okay. I yell at them because I won't hit them because I always feel bad. The fans are appreciative of mirrors. Thank but, you, guys. But, but, Please go get mirrors. But, Nivea, we, wanna, we even want to see you more naked. What's up with the Randy Watson collection? We the spoke- Randy Watson collection is all acoustic. I know. Where okay, is cool. it? You've been, you've been teasing it for a minute. We wanted to do this um, first because it was the most finished. Okay. So, the next one, uh, my dad is playing guitar on every record, but he's actually got me... Is your pops strumming. in the business in the business? No, he was or uh, attempted to be in his younger years with my mom. Okay. But no, he's not. Um, not really. But so I plan to have him. I don't even know if I'm gonna redo these records. They're so raw, but it's so real. I don't want to. No, but look, try to redo them. But look at on the rock side it. when when Nirvana did MCV Unplugged, and it I was know. just Kirk and the guitar and, just, and raw. just raw. People like raw. Sometimes the problem with music is too polished. Oh yeah, that, that's one of the records on Mirrors we did. We got it mixed and it was all clean. It was like something is gone. Oh yeah. So we use the demo, the rough. Yeah, and, sometimes and, you can listen to the demo so much that the demo sound phenomenal. When you get it mixed, it's, it's like, like yo, like, you, you remove the, the soul from my vocals. Exactly, that does happen. 
um, with this whole mix and mastering process. But it's necessary to, you know, play in certain different speakers and systems. But, yeah, I'm proud of it. Mirror's out now, y'all. Go get it. Well, yo, thank you so much for surviving the times, Nivea. Thank and sometimes you. I'm when happy it's quiet, to be here. though, and you chilling, mm -hmm. and you dancing naked outside your house, yeah. and you hear some cheering. <laughs> go, go. That's us rooting for you. Oh, I like that. All right, that. sweetheart. So Thank you, Aunt keep Craig. doing your thing. If people aren't following you, tell the people where to go. Uh, everybody, all my social media platforms is This Is Nivea. Booking is um, This Is For, the the, the word for Nivea at gmail.com. Thank y'all. Keep it going. TTT. TTT. <laughs>